I'd like to welcome everyone tonight. My name's Ken Lee, and I'm with the Hillside Park Commission. Uh, we appreciate everybody coming out tonight in our last Hillside Park concert of the summer season. The summer season, great success all year long. We appreciate all the support uh, from everybody. We have a couple great uh, entertainers on the bill tonight, Tim McGurl and Crimson Tears. Uh, but before we go any further, we want to thank um, some of the folks that made these concerts possible. First of all, we got the Masons uh, grilling food back there, and they've been a great help all through summer. And we especially want to thank and introduce tonight's sponsor for this concert, Citizen Savings Bank. And here on behalf of Citizen Savings Bank is, uh, is Lisa Akalonis. And Lisa, where are you from? I'm from Dalton. Okay. Well, we really appreciate Citizen Savings Bank's sponsor of tonight's event. And what interested Citizen Savings about helping us out tonight? Well, being a small community bank, we have a vested interest in our community. And what a better way to give back than to donate to things like this that gr bring all the people from all the other areas, you know, different townships. I see Glen Burn and Clark Screen and Clark Summit listed. And that's a wonderful thing that we can get everybody together and just have a great night. One of our last summer nights probably we're going to see for a while. So everybody enjoy themselves. Sorry to break that news, but winter is coming. <laughs> Well, hopefully we're going to have a nice fall first. So with, without further ado, just let me, further ado, let me introduce our first performer of the evening. It's uh, Tim McGurl. And Tim McGurl has been a professional musician, singer, songwriter for over 45 years. His musical career spans decades since the late 1960s. <laughs> Tim has performed as a solo artist as well as being a member of many group formations. In the mid 1970s and played in a bluegrass, old-time Celtic Americana duo simply called Tim and Butch with the late great Nashville mandolin master Butch Baldessari. Tim later went on to play with such bands including Whiskey Creek, Karma Farm, Dead Branch Band, the Mo Halliday Band, Bogart, and The Relics. In 1989, Tim later became one of the founding members of the Village Idiots one of the most popular East Coast jam bands performing music of and in the style of The Grateful Dead, The Band, Bob Dylan, and Neil Young. So without further ado, give a nice warm round of welcome to Tim McGurl. Thank you. I'm doing uh, a lot of my own original music tonight. There's a song called West Indies Winds.
We'll map our quest from Old Key West. We'll tack out a schooner in war. We're sailing west, and we'll do our best. Every day is like July the 4th. Our independence sets us free to sail all seven seas. You're in your sleepy silver dream, my Caribbean queen. Caribbean Queen Whoa, let's get that boat to the islands We'll make good friends with the wind and we'll set sail At night we'll map the sky above the horizon Try our way right along with the whales. The West Indies winds, they'll get us there. My West Indies girl, just breathe in the air. Seaside fair. We talked all night till morning's end. Somehow I knew I'd meet you there. I know we'd meet up there. So many walks all along the shore. The sea, a turquoise blue. We'd harmonize to surfer girl. No other girl like you No other girl like you There's no other girl like you I live up in Susquehanna County, um, and up on my mountain, there's a bear that uh, all of us up in that way, we call him Three Paws, all Three Paws, because he was hit by a bullet or something, or maybe he was born that way, but one of his paws is um, disabled, and, but he still gets around pretty well for the past six, seven years, we've all been seeing him in that amount of time. And this is a song about him. It's called, like, Painting the Sky All Blue. Shoulders 
short gray days and dark cold nights The fields and the branches are full of snow so white I've been sleeping like old Three Paws Bear Who makes his den underneath the old forest floor Old Three Paws Bear, he comes looking for treats He always seems to find good things to eat Looking back, I reckon by now He's had six or seven good old harvest feasts The sky was cloudy and always so gray One day it felt brand new It made the dreary clear itself away Like painting the sky The sky all blue. Some seasons back, shots heard in the air. One might have clipped him, but he don't seem to care. Friends round my hill, we came up with his name. Cause he kind of limps We all call him old Three Paws Bear It's always winter in the north country Burning those logs From the big old hardwood trees So peaceful there with my two black lads Two of the best friends this old country boy could ever have. The sky was cloudy and always oh, so gray, but one day it felt brand new. It made the dreary clear itself away like painting the sky all blue. Like painting the sky all blue Feel the sounds from that cold north wind The crunch of fresh snow is underfoot again And now you will hear that old gray wolf I hope real soon to see a summer day Floating out on a clear blue mountain lake Days are long and warm and clear and blue A summer day up here anyone will easily take I was cloudy and always so gray But one day it felt brand new It helped the dreary clear itself away Like painting the sky all blue The sky was cloudy and always so gray but one day it felt brand new It made the dreary clear itself away Like painting the sky
like paint in the sky. songs in a different tuning for anybody that knows guitar. The first two strings are normally E and A, but I drop both strings down to C and G, and then the rest are still D, G, B, E. So I can play D chords and A chords, but it's pretty interesting the bottom end you can get out of this arrangement. The song I wrote called It All Seemed to Fit. Good things in life all seem to fit Just like it does in the place with all four seasons She came home one night to say that was it You never thought he'd hear those words for no good reason century there ain't no doubt she helped him stand tall and keep on pushing with her gone it's hard to go out on their front porch swing sits her empty cushion
till I was in. Walking out to his barn and what's left of a wood pile. He always picks up more than he can handle. Been so cold to the bone for quite a while. Sometimes the only source of warmth is still that old candle. Until I was in Until I was in Interject just quickly here and to thank a few more of our sponsors. Uh, first, the Overbrook Foundation, uh, as well as our tonight's band sponsor, Citizen Savings Bank. All the media sponsors on the one band, on the one banner, and all of our cord sponsors on the other. And finally, we have a gentleman by the name of Dave Hess, who's signing his newly released book, Ambush, at the table out there. And a portion of all the proceeds will that will go to the park. So. Thank him, thank for the sponsors, and thank you all for coming out and supporting Hillside Park. Thanks. Here's a song I wrote called uh, Water Dreams. Anybody likes to go swimming, might, wanna, might like this song. Swimming everywhere.
Young love, young life, both agree, and it was bound to be. When they first met, they were just around 23. Warm with the pulse of their hearts, what they found was a real good start. That was a time of young love and young life. They found each other in the dark and in the blue light. They found each other both agree and it was just so right. They'd always swim in the ocean so blue They'd always swim in the rivers to the sea They felt they'd never ever be untrue Both in their water dreams They'd always swim in the mountain lakes They'd always swim in the forest streams They felt they'd never ever make a mistake Both in their water dreams study the curves of her body in the candlelight she wears dress shirts always keeping them so clean and white united they became like one never felt they'd become undone that was a time of young love and young found each other in the dark and in the moonlight They loved each other, both agreeing it was just so right They'd always swim in the ocean so blue They'd always swim in the rivers to the sea They thought they'd never ever be untrue, both in their water dreams They felt that they Swim in the ocean so blue Now we swim in the rivers to the sea They felt they'd never ever be untrue Within their water dream Now their love is but a memory It all seems so unclear and Moments and hours and days and months And now and years The water now isn't fresh to taste It's not as clear and too far to chase That was a time of young love and young love Loved each other in the dark and in the sunlight. They found each other both agreeing it was just so right. They'd always swim in the ocean so blue. They'd always swim in the rivers to the sea. They felt they'd never ever be untrue, but in their water dreams. They'd always swim in the mountain lakes They'd always swim in the forest streams They thought they'd never ever be untrue But on their water dreams Water Dreams. There's a song called A Tall Order.
When I burn a bridge, I burn the river right along with it. It happens so quick, I don't seem to think about the consequence. My blood is hot, pressured, coming out of that old spigot. If only my heart could slow down, it would make more sense. If only my heart would take a rest and make more sense. When a man has such deep roots to his land, it's not something they all can understand. It's almost like one of the laws of nature, like how Earth's oceans caress the sand, like how the water every second kisses the land. was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, too tall order, so they called it another day. It was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, too tall order, so they called it another day. boy rides around on his little red tractor. He dreams one day he'll own his own farm while riding that toy. Years later, he finds a girl who sure is attractive. They buy a farm, both his pride and joy. That girl and his land are his true pride and joy. That girl helped shape the root of the land. She worked on her knees, dug in the earth with two gaunt, strong hands. Dug gardens, herbs, and flowers, and real good food. She treated the earth like a new attitude. That good earth showed a great new attitude. It was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, too tall order, so they called it another day. It was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, a too tall order, so they called it another day. Call it another day. Call it another day. Call it another day. It was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, too tall order, so they called it another day. It was a tall order, so they called it a day. It was a too, a too tall order. So they call it another day. 
all in another We were lucky the brain held off, been threatening all day. It's a song called It's Your Mindset. Kind of a song about um, magic and carrying a heavy load. Not necessarily in any order. If you want to see magic, walk along and take a good look. You never know what's straight up ahead. It doesn't have to be tragic when you go open that book. So let's dance in a circle instead. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's your mindset and how you carry it around. And do you look where you go? It's your mindset, don't always play by the code. The only chance to see family is when you go to a wedding or a wake. You never know what's gonna be said. When your head's kind of dreamy, you slip up and kind of make a mistake. So let's dance in a circle instead. It's not the load that breaks you down. It's your mindset and how you carry it around. And do you look where you go, or do you go where you look? It's your mindset, don't always play by the book. If you want to see magic, walk along and take a good look. You never know what's straight up ahead. It doesn't be tragic 
when you, you open that door. So let's dance in a circle instead. Yeah, dance in a circle instead. Let's dance in a circle instead. Let's dance in a circle instead. The Lord that breaks you down. It's your mindset and how you carry it around. It's not the Lord that keeps breaking you down. It's your mindset and how you carry it around. It's your mindset, how you carry it around. It's your mindset, how you carry it around. It's your mindset. It's your mindset. It's your mindset. Your mindset. Thank you. Song this uh, this song I just wrote about two months ago. It's called "Unwritten Rule of the Heart."
What's left will be right is the only way to figure. Take some time starting over. Can't much change this getting older. Seems those who are younger, they have a much greater hunger. New faces come and go. Seems like that's always so. Not sure what to say or do to another who's all bright and new. two more songs. Anybody that came late that didn't, doesn't know these songs because they probably never heard them because they were my songs and they're all new. This is called Re Rebecca in Paris. <laughs> Temperature change.
last time I saw Rebecca was at our favorite place where we'd often go, near the Champs Elysees. At our favorite outdoor cafe, we would cut the chill in the morning air with the cafe ole. Living in Paris in the 1920s, laughing and loving in Paris, where our love was a plenty, writing that first novel in Paris. Never be lonely in Paris while the songbirds are coming back to sing. Rebecca knew it would soon be spring. A great city for walking, that's Paris. Day after day at the Louvre and the Jeux de Pont, strolling the Luxembourg Garden. We were living in Paris in the 1920s, laughing and loving in Paris, when our love was a plenty, writing that first novel in Paris. Ooh. in May, living just like Hemingway. We would always have Paris, and wherever we'd go for the rest of our lives, we'd always have Paris. We're always lucky in Paris. And just like a fool, I should have knocked on wood with wood everywhere to knock, and I should. We were living in Paris. It was the 1920s. Laughing and loving in Paris. When our love was a plenty, laughing and loving, living and loving in Paris, 1920, writing that first novel in Paris.
Last time I saw Rebecca 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 trouble because they're old and they're forgetting things. Night on the fly. We both did not see anything correctly We both didn't take any time to think A little trip up the river for our old lady spotting those rings and 
birds to restore windows. Problem was, we plumb forgot we were both widowers. Too old, we've been willows. Was a night on the fly. Was a night on the fly. Step each move We both took in a flurry Old Lefty found a brick Soon enough it was flying in midair Story goes Didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare Story goes, didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare. Was a night on the fly. Was a night on the fly. Pleasure playing for you folks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. See you. Big round of applause for Tim McGurl. Just a couple quick minutes before our next evening entertainments get started here. Crimson Tears. 
I uh, just want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about another event we have coming up this fall here at the, uh, the Hillside Park, the Harvest Moon Festival. Uh, I'm new to Clark Summit. I just moved here earlier in the summer, and I have a good friend in Clark Summit by the name of George Buckby. And he said, I got to introduce you to a woman by the name of Diane Veets. I'm not sure if you know Diane, but she is a bundle of energy, one of the inspirations behind the park here. So she called me right up and said, oh, we got this great festival in the fall. Would you like to be involved? And I said, oh, sure. Okay, you're going to run the main event. <laughs> and she said, you got any ideas? And I said, I thought about it a while. And, and the big thing they wanted to do, they had this great park here with all the facilities, and they wanted to start making use of the more, more of the facilities, including the lake. So what we've come up with the idea is having a rubber duck hunt. It's basically going to be a scavenger hunt with teams using the canoes, the rest of the park, running around, uh, finding things in the park. Uh, it's going to be a great family activity, group activity, uh, as part of the Harvest Moon Festival. Coming up, as the brochure at the, at the entrance indicates, on September 27th from noon to 5 here at the Riverside Park, there's going to be a whole bunch of different stuff, including live music all day long, vendors, pumpkins, mums, food, uh, the Abingdon Girls Softball League's Fall Ball Showcase, uh, and a whole bunch of different variety of, of music throughout the day. So please set it on your calendar September 27th here at the Hillside Park, the, the Harvest Moon Festival, featuring this year's Rubber Duck Scavenger Hunt. So we hope you, you can make it then. So our next... So the next group that's going to entertain you tonight is Crimson Tears, uh, formed in 1988 in Moscow, PA, so they've been around quite a while. Crimson Tears is a five-piece rock band consisting of Larry Moss on bass. He's getting his bass out as we speak. Ken Moss on keys. Okay. Johnny Rock on vocal. Robbie Walsh, guitars and James Wesley on drums. 27 years later, the Tears are performing their version of the Deep Tracks, all classic rock fans of bands like Zepp, The Doors, The Who, The Beatles, U2, Styx, Elton John, and Jimmy Love. So without any further ado, a big round of applause for Crimson Tears. Thank you very much. How about, about that, that timber girl? girl. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Great thing we have going on here at Hillside. Don't forget to get some hamburgers and hot dogs over yonder and book signing and donate to the Dalton Food Pantry. That would be wonderful. This is a cool song from Reginald Denny. Makes a lot of 
just a little deeper one for you. This is off the dark side.
It's true.
My pleasure. Our pleasure. Here's something off too. Hope you guys had it on each track.
Thanks for coming out.